Nope, it's not the dryer this time. It's the Maytag washer from the 80s. She's got an oil leak. I uh, did some research online. It looks like there's a, a seal in the transmission that is leaking on the bottom of the shaft. It's been leaking oil for a while. <clears throat> so there's a seal on the bottom of the transmission that is leaking, they say. <clears throat> so I got that. Plus I got a bearing. There's another seal up on top. But it's not leaking into the washer. But then I bought some oil to put in, like there's a drain plug there, so I don't know if I gotta tip the whole unit upside down and then put the oil on. That will tear it all apart, I don't know. Got some tools, there's supposed to be a special tool to put on here to get this thing loose. But they don't sell that anymore, so we're gonna have to figure that out. So that is screwed on there. But first we gotta clean all that oil underneath of there. So we got a new bearing, and we got a new LP seal here for it. And then we got some uh, like $40 made in the USA oil for the washer. Probably could have used something else, but just got what I needed. So I got some brake clean, some dirty grease rags from the shed. I'm trying to clean up all that stuff, get it cleaned up so we can actually work on it without getting all that on top of us. We got it all partially cleaned under there. And there was the pulley where the belt goes out and there's like a bearing in there for some reason it's all greasy but I don't know how they would grease stay in the bearing I think it's just from it's leaking out so we gotta find a pipe wrench or something to put on that I think it's a washer brake to try to get that off uh, or put a vice grip on and be with the hammer I've seen people do but then they said they've hurt the transmission doing that that way so we'll see okay so I got it off of there I put a vice uh, pipe wrench in there to hold the transmission and then I put the vice grip on there and I beat on it so it got loose and then I just spun it around so I bought this new bearing for in here so we're going to try to get that bearing out of there and then we'll put the new bearing in there too because it seemed to have a little slop in there for that so see if I can get that off and then the old seal is right in here so I'm going to try to figure out how to get that out of there now. Probably with some picks. Try to get this seal out of here right now. It's kind of a pain. Got it out somewhat with a screwdriver. I'm trying to get the rest of it all out. I think it's going to be a long process. I got it all done, put it back together, took it all back apart because it didn't want to turn right, too loose, too hard. Uh, put it all back together, now it works good. Now I gotta put oil in the transmission. I thought maybe there was a drain on the bottom. They don't have a drain for them. It's a sealed unit. So I gotta take this top cover off. I gotta take this agitator out of here. I think I gotta take the drum out. Then I gotta split the transmission, and then I gotta put oil on it. I'm gonna dig my head in there right now and see if I can somehow get some bolts loose without pulling the whole thing apart to uh, put some oil in it. Uh, otherwise, I might not tear it all apart today because I don't have that. I didn't buy the other seals for it. So you think it'll start leaking water? Maybe when I tear this one all apart, don't know. Okay, so I got the washer tore apart. I, was, I need to put oil in it. So they say that you gotta take this whole tub out and all that stuff. Proper way to do it. But I don't have all those gaskets and these little felt gaskets go here and it's probably gonna leak. So what I did here was I took all the bolts, bolts loose and I got it all those prized it all up all the way around. And now I can, uh, I think take a syringe and then put my oil in that way with a hose and then possibly the gasket still good all the way around seems to be maybe we should just come back down and seal otherwise I'll have to put a, go around the q-tip and dab some RTV all the way around it and then drop it back down on there and make it seal properly that is what we're going to try to do with this thing 
instead of taking it all apart the other way. Hoping to take this turkey baster. That is some thick oil. This is gonna take a while. Yeah. That, that ain't gonna work very well. Let's figure out something else. Then we'll just have to let it drain in there. I took the end off the turkey baster. <clears throat> I put it and I just dumped the oil in like that. And then I'll put the end back on, then I'll squeeze it, and it'll push in after a while. But it's still a very slow process. Process. Procedure. With the turkey baster. Basting the washer. I think it's just a little loud because I got the cover off. But I haven't seen any leaks on it yet. So that's good. Cycle through right now. Put that back up on the rinse. And then we'll uh, clean up the floor here, put the rug back down, wipe all this stuff down, and try to get all this off my arms. And I washed my hands already twice. And that's the cleanest I'm going to get for now. Um, use some Joe's hand cleaner on there. Then we're going to wash some laundry. This took longer than it should have, but don't know how long it should have took. So, pretty much, yeah. So I had the washer, I thought it was working. It worked, and it agitated and everything. But then when it went to spin cycle, it would not spin out. So Jonathan was over here, we tore it apart, put it all back together. Now it won't agitate, and it'll just spin on every cycle. I don't have it on spin right now, it's gonna spin on my laundry, but every cycle it'll spin it will not agitate now no idea so i said screw it i threw a load of laundry in even though it wasn't agitating now it just started agitating all by itself no idea we're gonna see if a spin cycle but now it's leaking water and it's eight o'clock at night and we started this whole process at like 10 30 this morning i haven't eaten since breakfast i'm getting hangry I need a shower I need some food so I put a towel down.